A 10 News consumer investigation into safety at local playgrounds has prompted action. Consumer reporter Kristen Severance brought you the concerns of a national safety consultant who toured several area parks. And tonight, we hear from the city. Kristen? And Steve, you'll remember our expert had problems with old or broken equipment, lack of instructions, and ground cover at some San Diego parks. And tonight, changes have been made to improve the safety of where your children play. One, two, three. Alyssa Inman has been coming to Rancho Canyon Mission Neighborhood Park since she was seven. The equipment hasn't changed at all. I don't let her on the unsafe part of it. That's a good thing. National safety consultant Dr. Carl Abraham called the park dangerous. He had a problem with a lot of things here, like the metal slide. This can get very hot and cause second and third degree burns. When we were there, the structure looked like this. Days later, this. We've barricaded those two pieces and we'll be removing them also by the end of the week. The playground is in Councilwoman Marty Emerald's district. It really needs to be replaced. We wouldn't have known it if you didn't act as our eyes and ears, and I appreciate that. We toured several San Diego parks with the expert. I brought an iPad with video of what we found to Parks and Recreation Director okay. Stacy Lamedico. We'll start with the very first one. Lamedico is in charge of the second largest municipal park system in the country. The fact that you've pointed out some issues, we took initiative um, to go out to those sites. At Liberty Station, Abraham had an issue with how this broken piece of equipment was blocked off. We would agree that the barricades that were used um, were not enough. Now the equipment is repaired. As for the lack of signs or instructions for parents, there's no age uh, designation. Lamedico said they do have small stickers on the equipment. Staff's going to evaluate whether we go ahead and put up another sign. At Cabrillo Heights Neighborhood Park, we found a roped off slide with cracked plastic at the base that had been that way for months. The cracked slide is now gone. The entire playground will be upgraded in the spring of 2013. In San Ysidro, the kids are not as lucky. There are no plans to upgrade here. Abraham had a problem with the lack of equipment in a less affluent neighborhood. This actually reflects on the economy in the area. But a nonprofit wants to partner with the city to raise money for new additions to the playground. Upgrade it and bring it into where children want to use it. I asked her how often all of the 300 parks in San Diego are inspected for safety issues and if the maintenance staff is trained on national safety standards. The on-site staff will do daily inspections. If if there is anything they foresee to be a safety issue, they're to immediately barricade it and report that. With daily inspections, I wondered how the I team found problems at every park. Clearly, they missed them. Lamedico said the staff has an annual training session called a tailgate where they go over how to do these inspections. We need to re emphasize the tailgate to our maintenance staff so we can reinforce the importance of those daily inspections. Inspections that directly relate to the safety of where your children play. The city's Park and Recreation Department takes safety at all our facilities, especially our playgrounds, very strongly. And Lamedico had all the supervisors go out and physically inspect every park. And they had to do that before this Friday. That's something that normally doesn't happen. It's usually left up to the staff but she did have them go in fact to do that as a double check and also that annual safety training where they go over the daily inspections that's going to happen in early October. It's a lot of parks. If you're a parent, you have a concern about your local park, what should you do? Yeah, not everybody has a TV camera or you know, has a national safety expert they can tour parks with, but there are two easy ways to report it. I put all the information on 10news.com. Just go there, click on the red TV button. It's really easy. Um, and I just pretty much laid it all out there. All right, great. Thank Very you, Kristen. Good. Sure. Thanks, Kristen.